Hello everyone and welcome to DK Tool tutorial. So let's start with the first part. I click create the limp. So everything is simple here. We have two points and we control in the limp with them. So the first one, the lens, DT control direction, midpoint, and roundness. Okay. Next one. We have the color of the limb, color of the outline, outline width, and like trim pass. Okay, so everything is simple here. So let's jump on the style very quickly because it will be better. Um, so usually we want to create some styled limbs. So click on this plus. Let me quickly explain how the new style is working. We can choose different types of stylization like outline, taper, dashes and caps. So let's start with the caps. As you can see, we can choose different kind of caps for the end and start. For example, I choose flat on the end, on the start and uh, round on the end. Name it test. And I want outline also. Okay, so new DTS test appears. Let's see. Okay, so now I, I can choose flat ending. I don't need the previous one anymore. So I just click delete style. Okay. Let's make some great color. Black. Great, and as you can see, we have this caps uh, menu appears. What if we still use circle? We have the possibility to change it width. I see usually a lot of people using like circles at the end of the limp, like the imitation of the hand. So why not to add it? If you choose square, you can also make something like that and it's working okay so if you want to create new style click again and uh, as you can see when you choose caps you don't have the possibility to use taper and dashes it's only working with without the caps so for example i choose outline taper and dashes name it test 2 okay and as you can see dashes and taper appears let's change like that and let's change some settings here Okay, I don't need this limp anymore. As you can see, it's still working. Okay, great. So that's how the style is working. You can also create another limp for example and if you have some great stylization here you can easily copy that so click copy limp choose another one and click paste and it will be copied okay great so let's jump on 
other settings. For example, create the limp, make some stylization, just quickly, something like that. We make a flat circle, flat width, something like that, and I want outline also. Okay. When you have the limp, you can easily copy it. So just duplicate it and you have the copy with all styles and so on. When you're choosing the limp, it's always uh, like a lot of layers in your project and some sometimes they are missed because it's too much of layers. So click the limp, click here and you will see all the layers that attached to this limb for example one is here one is here and we click and we find all layers okay so that's easy another one we have in auto flop option also so for example you know what it is just for making great swings yeah and you have um, very intuitive controls here flipper axis so it's the angle it's the lens and fall off yeah and enable flipper to flip horizontally great also if you want to delete the limp and uh, again a lot of layers uh, in different places so just uh, highlight one of the layers compared to the limp and click delete and it will be deleted great another one so in the new version of this tool, we have an add point on selected limbs. So, for example, choose the limb, click add point, and as you can see, point one appears. Let's make some rectangle and attach it to the point one. Okay. Let's move it like that. And uh, as you can see, it's attached to the limp and uh, you can make some correlation on the limp. Yeah. And it will be following the pass. Okay, so in this case, you can attach as many points as you want. For example, another one, I can draw inside this point also, and it will be working. You also have in the stretch option, and if you don't want the stretch, so go to the point and uncheck the stretch. Okay? Um, this also auto rotate option is available so choose the end click auto rotate you can see the limp auto rotate is appears and you can uh, draw some rectangle and attach it to the auto rotate let's make some adjustments And as you can see, it's working. Yeah, let's make the direction to minus 100. Okay, great. You also have the option link pins. 
So what it what it is? Simply make some pins. Okay, and when you highlight the pins, you can click here, and control controllers appear on the shape. Okay, I'll show you how to use it uh, in the next part. So just just showing what we have here. Okay, you can also rename the style name. For example, something strange here. We highlight it and make it good. And the last one. For example, you have a lot of uh, stylization and After Effects seems a little bit laggy. Um, so you can fix it. Hold Alt and click here. And you will have just simple limp and your After Effects will be fast as you want. Okay. Great, so that's probably how the rig part is working. Let's jump on the second part. Okay, so the next part is assist. Let me show you how it's working. For example, we're making some animation like that. And we need to loop it very quickly. So just highlight the position and it will be the loop in cycle. If you click here, it will be loop out and the most powerful one loop in plus loop out. Okay. So delete. Click it. And now your keyframes will be looped loop out and loop in together. Great, we also have another option like perfect looped. For example, you have the composition like five seconds uh, something. And you want to loop it to fit the timeline. Okay, so you're choosing this keyframes, click perfect loop and now it will be looped you see so the perfect loop is here for example we make three seconds And you see that there are no loop. So just highlight the position, click perfect loop, and everything will be working. Okay, it's a very powerful tool for the like looped animation. Sometimes you have uh, some difference between keyframes and uh, it's not divided uh, like correctly to fit to the loop so this tool helps you to make it much faster okay the same one you can fit the animation in the work area so for example if you're making work area like that and click perfect loop then it will be in the working area okay great the next one is bend so do you want some fast uh, fast bend animation just click it and you have it with some controls here like frequency Amplitude, let's make it 20, and offset. Nice. 
another one you can quickly make a trim pass for example you draw some pass like that click trim pass and it's applied okay and the last one you can quickly highlight the stroke and fills in your project for example like that choose the layer click highlight the fills click delete and all fills delete okay so that's all for the assist and let's jump on most powerful one animate option as you can see we have the character with some points that imitates the rigging uh, so to understand how it's working let's add assistant and it quickly describes you what to do step one place your character like that step two create rig this one step three set up your rig so simply click on these points and step four apply animation from the gallery nice but it will be better to like make some character and make some practice for so for that we have the option create our characters it's simply DK characters so you can test how it's working as you can see we're already having all controls uh, everything is rigged so far so let me show you how it's working for the for the our characters you can simply click hold alt and click on this circle all controllers will be highlighted automatically um, it work, works only if you have right naming uh, right naming describe uh, here like how how do you need to name your layers but okay let's do the scene click plus name it walking okay i hold alt highlight all layers and clicking again on the circle and it's recognize all the points after that i go to the gallery click fast run for example and as you can see animation applied great but you can say okay it's working only with decay so let's make our own character with the rig system right so i'll do it very quickly let's make some alien here something like that okay duplicate great let's make the body something like that and of course ice okay and let's add some hands also direction 100 and uh, 100 okay i think it's too much for the lens so let's make it 
two hundreds, I think, and two hundreds here. Cool. So something like that, and like let's make this hand underneath. Okay, great. Maybe outline width to five, so it will be more stylized. Great. Also, I forgot to add some foots. Let's make some basic. Parent it. No need to make auto rotate because uh, walking presets do it automatically. So just just place place the foots in the right places and parent correctly so i need limp and two here nice so we have in the character okay let's jump on the animate and cre create the rig let's make it alien accept and now we choosing the controllers and click for example on the hand and as you can see it's recognized awesome the same for the other hand Let's click on the body and since we have on the body, not neck and head. So let's choose the body here. Nice. Click on the legs and we just sim simply highlight this area and legs also recognize it. Great. So now I think we're ready. Once everything is recognized, just click on Rig Controller, go to the gallery, and let's make double bounce walk. Let's see. Nice. So our character is walking, and as you can see, uh, the foots also walking really well. Great. I see that I need to fix this uh, leg real quick. Let's place it underneath. Okay. And now, if you go to the rig controller, you can see there are a lot of controllers that give you a possibility to make this animation even more uh, interesting. Okay, so what we have here? The first one, uh, as you can see the rig layers, we attach all the points here. Um, after that, for example, if you like add a neck or head, you can simply attach it here and uh, then it will be working with these controllers. Okay, so head rotation and neck, we don't have it right now. We have body rotation degree. So if we add a little bit, you can see that the body have the uh, some some degree right now we go to body rotation body rotation 
amplitude let's make it zero if you make sorry for the body rotation you can see the animation of the body right if we if we make 60 for example the amplitude will be much more great let's make it 50 for example i like it great the next one body x amplitude interesting what it is if we click 50 you can see that the body starts uh, doing animation forwards and backwards yeah let's make it a little bit maybe 10 nice and as you can see we also have been body y amp up and down so for example if we make 50 to the up so our body will jump up a little bit and let's make 100 down nice so much amplitude here so let's make it 50 50 yeah nice the next one double bounce if you uncheck this so it will be just regular walk if you check this it's double bounce walk awesome let's uh, uncheck it real quick and I want to show you the body is in out options for example if you make it's too much you can see how it applies to the body okay let's make 100 100 so as, as you can see it has the ease in the end of the animation so very fast at the beginning okay so let's make it 25 25 nice okay advanced settings i will show you a little bit later and uh, let's go to the timing settings so for example we have uh, cycles here since we don't have the head and neck let's jump to the body cycle if i make it two seconds you can see that this cycle is two seconds right now back and forth let's make it four and let's make it like that it will be really shaky okay we also have in body x time offset so it's everything about offsets uh, play with these settings to get like very smooth result for example let's offset a little bit the y time and you see how animation changed yeah just with one controller now it's something different let's make it 15 it will be also different okay the same for the body rotation time if if you choose 0 0.5 so just play with the settings and uh, another great part about it is that everything is looped so just find the right loop here for example i think some somewhere here yeah and we have in the loop okay the next one hand controllers you can change the lens 
of the hands be careful with this one hand width so it's just something like that the height of the hands so you can place them to the top for example shoulder width you can place it like that x amplitude if I make it like that you can see so be careful with this one also let's make it 50 okay let's make it 100 and you can see we have some imitation of 3d so let's make like 20 the same for the y and hands is in out also if you make make 100 it will be really fast at the beginning okay let me show you for example 100 so we have really nice is here okay advance uh, in the advanced settings we play in with hand face so you can place it like that it will be more amplitude here rotation you can change the rotation for example if I increase the hand lens and face to the zero you can see how rotation working also hand X offset okay and hand face offset it's really great too so the hands will be animated not uh, at the same at the same face okay and also another one is hand toggle is also really great for example you need this hand uh, to hold something or whatever just click on this toggle and you can manage it like that we can draw some weapon here for example and so on great the same time settings you can play with the cycles uh, play with this uh, settings to achieve some unique animations let's jump on the leg controllers I check toggle legs x offset it's make your like adjust the angle sometimes when you apply animations the legs little bit forward or backwards so you can adjust it here okay so next one is hip width x y amplitude um, but the most interesting is step height for example we, we want little bit more let's make even more like 400 so you can see the great steps here okay let's leave it 150 and step width let's make it 400 to see how it's looking nice 
Let's make it 300. Great. Uh, foot angle give you the possibility to adjust the foot. Let's make it where it is like 300. This will be more real, realistic, and more double bounce walk. Also, you can adjust the ease. Advanced settings, you can adjust the leg X face. So for example, make it zero, and you can see the face is changing. Uh, the offset, also, be careful with this one example 90 and you can see nice jump <laughs> great if we make it zero the hands it will be the jump nice step position offset also really interesting one be careful play with foot up and step angle also and as you can see the toggle if we uncheck legs toggle we just dancing okay great let's back it again and as you can see the time settings also so to make some great offsets and so on um, and my favorite one common controller okay i see that the step width not the same one with the left left leg so when i want to change it with um, leg x face so for example like that let's see another one yeah it's the same almost almost the same something like that okay and as you can see now the legs move a little bit forward so that's why i'm choosing minus 45 legs x offset nice and let's jump on the common controller and my favorite walking toggle if you click on it our character will walk away we can also change uh, walking time of set uh, and make the all amplitude for example if it will be 10 little bit of amplitude everywhere yeah Let's animate it, for example. It's will be interesting. Nice. Boom. And all speed. If we make 100, so it'll be much faster. You can also play with the offset. It's just offsetting your animation. Okay. And uh, you can also randomize all movements. And it will be something strange here. You never know what, what happened. Just play with it. Nice. Okay, so I've made some interesting walk cycle. It's like the mix of double bounce walk with uh, strut walk. 
and uh, I think it's really great to add it to my presets. So I'm choosing DT Rig Controller, click Add Preset, and I name it Double Strut, for example. Nice, no category here. As you can see, Double Strut preset appears. Great, and then you can apply it to your new characters and so on. Great, so let's back to the next part. I want to show you that uh, this walking cycles working also with some images. So maybe I can just quickly draw some character like that. Let's make pre-compose of it. And I, I make the points for my controllers with pin tool. Okay, you remember this great button, link pins. So I highlight in the points and click create controllers. Nice. Then we go to the animate and create the controller. Nice. After that, I can highlight my points and recognize them. For the hand. Great. And uh, let's add some basic walk. I like DT rig controller, basic walk. Okay. As you can see, we have the walking cycle and I want to fix it real quick, this legs. So I'm going to the legs controller, advance and X face to zero, for example. Not so much, like that. Great. So you can apply it to any characters that you want. Great. Also, you can bake your animations once you create it some walking cycle. Let's make the composition a little bit less, two seconds. Highlight DT controller, bake animation. And let's see the keyframes. Yeah, everything is baked. So you can easily delete some keyframes and uh, in the place where you want to make your own animation, for example, character stops. So that's great. And I think we finished with animation, uh, animate part. And the last one is presets. So you can easily uh, create your characters that you already made the add preset button will be available uh, soon. So that's all guys. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and how much this tool is powerful. So I'll be glad to know your feedback and we supporting everybody in our channel on Discord. So make sure to add yourself to it and we can easily help you with your issues and suggestions and many many more thanks everybody and see you bye bye